morning guys it is a Friday morning and yesterday I spent several hours trying to teach myself just a tiny little bit of the master's team routine and so today I'm gonna go to the community pool near my house and hopefully try out the moves depends on how busy the pool is but usually I'm able to carve out a little bit of space even though you're supposed to be doing legs <laughs> riding my bike and it's a tiny bit chilly out so I'm gonna wear a hat which will especially be important uh, when my hair is wet because mama said don't go with her wet hair but I never take the time to dry my hair when I leave swimming have you seen how long my hair is like I don't have time for that nonsense um as is becoming the trend I am a little bit behind if I get into the pool at 10.15, I'd be pretty psyched, but I'm not sure that's gonna happen. I guess we'll have to see how fast I can ride my bike. See ya, maybe at the pool. <laughs> Alright guys, made it to the pool by 10.16, which is not bad, and had a good workout, practically had the place to myself, so now I'm gonna bike my tired butt home <laughs> and have some lunch. Um, and I did a bit of the tech routine, the part that I wanted to do. Holy crap, it's so fast with music, it's so hard. <gasps> if I can do this routine like full thing, I'll be amazed. Like by the end of the year, I'll be like, I'll give myself a medal for being able to do it. It's what I'll do. <sighs> All right, guys. That was a good practice. Um, I got to the pool at 10.16. I wanted to get there at 10.15, so pretty close. And um, uh, the routine is so hard and so fast. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be such a challenge. But it gave me a good idea of how much work I'm gonna have to put into not only trying to learn the routine, but trying to be able to do the routine. So like I said at the pool, like honestly, if I can actually do this routine by the end of the year, I'm gonna give myself some sort of a prize because I'm gonna be super impressed with myself and super happy with my ability to, to do it. I don't know, I like to persevere, to not get discouraged. You know, it's so easy to get discouraged when you're doing something that's really hard or that you don't necessarily feel like you can do or that you're just not good at right away. It's really easy to get discouraged and I, I totally feel that, but what you have to do is just push yourself past that. And it's taken me years and years of practice and I'm still not perfect at it all the time, not to negatively self-talk myself down into a spiral when I'm doing really poorly. Instead, I just say it's okay. You know, like let's keep going, let's do the next thing. And that took me a long time to learn. So if you are in the habit of getting into one of those negative self-talk spirals, just start practicing bit by bit on not doing that. You know when you feel yourself going into one of those. So when you feel it coming on, 
Just stop, take a breath, remind yourself what you're doing well, and start again. And that might help you to overcome that and to reach your goals, which that's what life's about, right? So overall, I'm pretty happy. Now, some lunch. guys I just wanted to sit down and film a quick little um, update video <laughs> I'm off work today I worked yesterday I work tomorrow I have a pairing that's really busy um, so I was trying to get some stuff done today I was trying to get my first video up and so far it's not going very well my computer is like a million years old my phone is completely out of space for more videos so like I have to get the videos uploaded I have to put them somewhere else besides on my phone and my computer like crashes every time I try and edit something so I'm just feeling frustrated because I feel like I've been doing all this work filming and I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to do anything with the videos so I don't know I just thought this is a bump in the road for sure and maybe it would be a good idea to sit down and do a video about it an update I don't know that's what that's what people do right um I mean if I don't fill my challenges then what's the point it's not gonna be interesting we don't want to just see all my victories we want to see my low points too and this is feeling like a low point because I just feel like at this point it's been like a little bit over a week and I feel like I've spent so much money on my swimming fees and my buying new equipment for swimming and like trying to spend as little as I can on like um, being able to edit my videos and all that stuff but I still feel like I'm spending so much money and we get paid so infrequently at my job that it just feels like there's so much going out and nothing coming in and the only way to make more money is to work more and if I work more then I don't have time to do stuff and when I work more then I'm too tired to work out when I'm too tired to work out then I'm not working on this project and if I'm not working on this project then what is the point of doing all this like oh my gosh like this is something that I'm doing for myself and it's supposed to be fun and it is but like it's frustrating at the same time and it's easy to feel like where's the progress like I'm not working out as much as I wanted to I'm not I'm just like I'm just not living up to my expectations and it hasn't been very long but it's easy to think oh I still have to do this 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 and this before I get going and like I don't know I'm just feeling frustrated and I am trying to learn this stupid team routine and it's so hard it's so fast I have to teach it to myself if I'm doing it wrong I won't even know because I'm not being coached I'm side swimming so like what is the point of doing this I'm messing up my work schedule by swimming two days a week and I can't swim most of the time because I don't know what I'm doing and I have to teach it to myself and when am I supposed to do that <laughs> I'm like Oh my god! <laughs> oh, why is everything so hard right now? You know what I mean? That's that's just what I'm feeling. I'm just why is everything so hard and why don't I feel like I have enough time? And why am I always tired? <laughs> why can't I just like why can't I just wake up and want to eat healthy in a way that energizes me and like want to do stuff and like get stuff done? Like, why can't I do that? Why? Why do I just want to like get up and like relax? Why would I rather just... <sighs> That's a stupid question. Like, <laughs> no one needs an explanation of why it's easy to be lazy because it's easy to be lazy. Like, you know what I mean? But like, what I want to know is why are some people so good at not being lazy? Like, what is the trick? You know what I mean? Like, I try to push myself, but it's hard. I try to push myself but it's hard and you hear other people oh you just got to do it like I don't feel like getting up early but I just do or I don't feel like doing this but I just do and it's like I do want to do stuff but I just find it really hard 
to get going and I get tired easily and then I get afraid that I'm gonna get sick because I always get sick when I'm overtired so then I worry about that so then I stress out about the fact that if I push myself too hard it's gonna have consequences but I don't know how else I can get stuff done like this is why I'm not the person that I want to be because because I don't do enough and I don't know how to make myself do enough and I don't know how to do enough without also getting sick or overwhelmed and frustrated like I am right now I am so messed up <laughs> I probably shouldn't be filming this especially for people to watch because I don't know if many people realize how crazy I am because <laughs> like, <laughs> they're gonna know now I'm crazy and I'm not I'm not I'm not an amazing person and I don't have it all together and I, you don't have to have it all together to be an amazing person but I'm just saying I'm not an amazing person I'm not a hard worker I'm not super smart I'm not any of those things I try to be realistic about that and be positive at the same time and yada yada like you gotta stay positive so I am but I can be positive and admit that I'm not the person that I wish I was. And I don't know how much you can change who you really truly are. Because I've been trying to be a better person my whole life. And I'm still just um, a lazy person who sits around and watches TV all the time. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the truth. <sighs> anyway. That was a little rant. <laughs> um, so yeah, I spent the morning crossing stuff off to my to-do list. I did get a lot done. Didn't get my first video out. No clue how I'm ever gonna get my first video out. But if you're watching this, I guess I figured it out. So there's that to hope for. And now I'm gonna go work out because I need to. It's on my to-do list. And if I don't, then Maybe I'll never get rid of the stress. You know what I mean? Like working out is extremely important for my mental health. And also for this project, because if I don't work out consistently and I don't become a better swimmer, then this whole video series is stupid. <laughs> really stupid, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna go work out. And if you're watching this, and you're feeling bad for me, do not feel bad for me. <laughs> Okay, I have a great life. I just like to complain a lot and I just, I just am not who I wanna be. And that is fine, but that doesn't mean you have to feel bad for me because I have a great life. So do not feel bad for me. I will be fine and I'm gonna go work out. And I really hope if you watched this whole thing and I appreciate that you did, that you have a great day. I really hope you do. See you later. Alrighty, so let's flip the script here and get into something more positive. Uh, this is a workout I did on one of my layovers in a hotel that had a TRX. I never played with one before, so I was pretty excited to uh, give it a whirl. And here I am doing some TRX squats. Uh, I think the main advantage of doing it with the TRX is you can get lower and not really have to worry on your balance. So that's kind of cool. And... The next thing I did was some rows. It's sort of like an upright row. Um, you go on an angle and pull into the TRX. It's pretty good. And you could control how difficult it is depending on the placement of your feet and whatnot. So that was good exercise. For all of these, I basically just Googled TRX and looked at some YouTube things and like kind of figured out what I wanted to do from there. As with most of my workouts, I like to just kind of make sure I hit every major body part. Um, I don't really get in the gym enough to break it all down individually. Uh, the next thing I did was a chest press. And this again, since you're using the TRX, you can really modify how difficult it is for you depending on where you stand and like the angle that you're, you know, 
holding on to the T-Rex from. So that was a cool exercise. I enjoyed doing that. It was kind of hard to make sure you're just focusing on your chest because so many other muscles want to come and join the party when you're using the T-Rex, but it's a good exercise regardless. And then moving on from there, I did the hanging um, leg lifts that are supposed to be really good for your abs. For me though, I don't know if it's because my upper body is not strong enough or whatever, but I always feel this a lot in my shoulders. Like it's just really hard to get in the right form, I guess, for this. But it's still, I don't know, a good exercise, but it's very difficult. So I did not do a lot of reps. I did like three rested, went again for three, blah, blah, blah. But I only show one set per exercise, of course, because otherwise that would be kind of boring for y'all to watch. Okay, so now I went on to this TRX tricep move and like a lot of the TRX stuff, it's very adjustable to how hard it's going to be but it was a nice exercise i felt that one i quite enjoyed that and then um after that i think i do some hamstring yeah i do hamstring pull-ins on the ball i did try doing this on the trx but it was too difficult so i went on to do it on the ball which is also very difficult so if you want to work your hammies try this exercise and then after that i did trx planks but they are not pictured here because it was not pretty footage, trust me. But the planks, it was great. And that's it for this workout. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday, November 10th. And I had a really long day yesterday. I flew from Montreal to Toronto, Toronto to Nassau, Nassau to Toronto. Um, and my motivation level for swimming today is zero. So... Uh, yeah. I am so tired. I really don't feel like going in. But, life's not about doing only what we want to do. Sometimes you got to get in a cold pool when you're tired and you could care less about going swimming. So, that's what I'm going to do. Talk to you later. Hello friends, it is Friday, November 15th. I am in Kelowna today and I have all day, which is beautiful. And they have an outdoor pool, which is large enough to practice in. And even though it's only like five or six degrees out, um, I'm gonna do it because I need to seize the opportunity whenever there's a pool deep enough to practice because I need to practice. Um, anyways, I am continuing on my journey of trying to learn the master's tech team routine. They have three laps to their routine, three, three laps to their routine, and I am almost done transposing up to the end of lap two. And I'm just like, the mental fatigue is really starting to hit hard because it's I don't know. It's just so much trying to learn this. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm really trying to push myself, I'm trying to finish lap two. If I could swim lap one and lap two with them every practice, then I would be getting a lot more swimming in every practice. So that is my goal. Obviously, I want to learn the whole routine, but um now they're starting to do their free routine, so I have to learn that, and I have my own routine to worry about, so I have to be careful and prioritize accordingly, but yeah, I really want to learn this. Um, I don't remember how many practices are left until winter break, maybe like four or something, I'd have to check my calendar, but... Imagine if I could learn the whole routine before winter break. That would be pretty awesome. Yeah. 
Anyways, so I got to keep grinding away, but I just wanted to do a little update because I'm just getting so tired of trying to learn this routine and it's taking a lot to keep pushing through and yeah, but um, I'm hoping to get a lot of filming to done today because I'm going to take advantage of having the pool and I'm filming a video that's going to be posted later. Uh, I don't remember when I planned on posting it, but I'm filming a video that's going to be posted later on down the line that I think is going to be a lot of fun and hopefully like funny and entertaining to watch. We shall see. Um, but watch out for that. When I post a video and say I'm really excited about it because I thought this would be a fun idea, that's the one I was talking about. <laughs> um, anyways, I'll talk to you guys later while I get back to work and stop procrastinating doing this. <laughs> Guys, I just did a run through of my tech routine, which is mostly done. And I can assure you, I am going to die. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>